Good everyone. So today we'll be talking about the Grafana PromQL queries, which by which we can you know extract the time series data. Uh, last time, as you remember, that we have set up the Grafana successfully onto the Minikube cluster, and we'll be using the same Grafana to explore the query section. So the Grafana has already uh, have been exported as a port forwarding just for the sake of uh, readiness. So this is ready. I need to come here uh, where I can export the query section. What is this all about? So Prometheus is my database and whatever data which is coming from a Kubernetes cluster is coming to the Prometheus database as a time series data. What you said mean by time series? I mean every instant of time the data has been collected and and then the data is being extrapolated in different panels in dashboard so that alerting and dashboarding can be done. So quickly jumping onto the, uh, the queries how it, it runs and how you can explore the data. So I've created a small document for understanding basic queries. I'm not going to explain the complex on the basic one. So suppose I want to see how many different or distinct time series data points are coming to your uh, Grafana. So simply I can copy this thing and run onto my explore window. And I can see what it, what the query is doing. Just simply count all the metric name which is coming uh, to this uh, Grafana by the name metric itself. So you can see I will get all the distinct metric count. So this is what this is doing. I can simply do a table also uh, with this a feature in Grafana. You can get a raw thing and then you can either simply uh, you know remove the graph also. You can remove the graph also, the time series graph. Let's talk about the next uh, you know query now we are talking now we are saying that get me the same data but this time get me the count of distinct metric series or metric name but by the job now what is this job job is nothing but your uh, your different different uh, exporter that have been there in your uh, cluster so there's a node exporter which is actually pulling all the node related data there's a cube state metric uh, exporter which is there on your cluster which pulling all the container level metrics and and the remaining metrics. So these two are important now say if I do a further filtration on the node export cycle I'll get all the only the node export related uh, metrics. Now if I do a under the score name so in this what I'm doing get me all the metrics pertaining to the job node exporter and group by underscore I mean group by metric name only so I'll get all the metrics which are inside this node exporter so this is what i'm explaining in my next query get all the metric pertaining to node exporter only to search all the time series data points grouping by metric for any particular job so here we are um, saying node exporter it can be cube set metrics also i can change this node exporter to suppose cube set metric right so I can change the name. So now I'll get all the metric name for only for cube set metrics. Now suppose I want to do a selective filtration for any, any particular metric. So I can simply do something like this. All metrics related to whose name starts with node. So I can get all the node level metrics. See? All the metrics is starting with node. So I kind of you know select uh, the the wildcard operator. Now, for any particular metric, I can get the details. Suppose I want to get the details of this cube config labels, which is coming as a metric for only for metrics namespace. I can see like this, or I can come here. I can do further filtration. This curly braces inside that is nothing but a you know filtration. So I can do a job, and then I can do like this, or I can simply remove this. And then you can do namespace and then metrics like this. And this is all about doing the filtration and counting all the matrices. Now we have certain range level selectors also because all the work we were doing for any instant of time, but this is a time series data. Ultimately, we need to find out range, range vector. So I'll just run you this query. So this calculating the rate of this metric at a particular instant of in a second. 
now it is saying it is giving a filtration try to convert this query as a rate now this will give you the range for this metric under this job at every seconds of time I'm, i want to see it for last 15 minutes only so this is the time series data see for last 12 3 to 12 17 only for last 15 minutes every second of time how this metric is behaving you can see the value so every second how this metric is behaving this is called as you know cumulative functions so i'm giving only one example rest of the functions you can quickly find out in this prometheus official documentation which would be helpful for understanding other related functions you know so yeah i'll not take much time here the rest of the functions i like i want you to explore you by yourself but yeah this is a basic building block I, how i can understand how many metrics are coming now i can quickly summarize things so yeah i've created a small GitHub page for this you can simply play around with these matrices and then for whether you can come down to this functions page and then do it by yourself yeah thanks for watching uh, we'll be doing some kind of dashboarding and alerting on the grafana itself maybe in our next set of videos but yeah before that we need to understand from ql queries because dashboards and alerts are based on these queries only so yeah we'll catch you later on the next videos on dashboarding and alerting thanks for watching thank you bye bye